Welcome back to the Lexi's Leukemia channel. Today, we're going to the aquarium. Well, good morning from Chicago. Day three. We are very excited. This is the second half of our vacation vlog. If you didn't catch the first one, you should go back and check that one out. It was a lot of fun. We hit up the Museum of Science and Technology, and before that, we hit up the Field Museum. Uh, today on the agenda is going to the Sheds Aquarium, and then after that, we are going to the Adler Planetarium, and then tomorrow we're going to a Cubs game. So let's get going. Well, they are cleaning up a whole of the destruction still. Still seeing lots of tree limbs down, but they've mostly got them pulled to the side of the road now so they can at least have them out of the way for people. My goodness. We made it, we parked at Soldier Field, and now we're headed to Shed's Aquarium. We're bringing the stroller today, hopefully to save Lexi's legs. We made it inside the aquarium, and right as soon as you walk in, there is a big thing. Uh, yeah, maybe like a small one? Yeah. All kinds of fish. Yeah. All right. You love it, Lex? Yeah. All kinds of stuff. So we were just looking at the Southeast Asian Streams fish. It expands all the way over there. And then you can look at all the different fish from different parts of the world. They've got Central and South America, Australia, Africa, Asia, and India. Pretty cool. These are cattlefish. Just hold your hand still in the water and you might come. Oh, they swam away. Let's see if it's open to touch one of these fish. And now you gotta hold your hand really still, okay? Whenever they come up. Here it comes, here it comes. Did you touch it? Did you touch it? <laughs> Is that awesome? Yeah. Here, you wanna scoot over here a little bit? Did you touch it? Put your hand down, put your hand down. So are you having fun so far, Lexi? Yeah. I think it's safe to say she loves the aquarium. We headed downstairs to the lower level because now it's time to get ready to enjoy our movie. What movie did we pick, Lexi? It's a 4D movie. What movie did you pick? She wants to see the shark movie, so we're gonna go find our seats for that. Did you like the shark video? Yes! Now we're headed to the gift shop? Yes. What do you want from the gift shop? It's a swaddle baby. Something called a swaddle baby is what she wants, so let's go find it. Oh boy, is that what a swaddle baby is? Let's see it. A swaddle baby. So this is uh, a cuddly baby. Hold me tight and put me in my swaddle. And it looks like a little whale or something. It's a blue little whale. It comes out. Okay. All right, is that what you want as your souvenir? We came downstairs to see penguins and other underwater creatures. This is cool. 
This is so cool. Look at these dolphins it's swimming and doing tricks. Wow. Oh, I know. I get it now. They come to the glass because they can hear That's right. of the sounds. Yeah. So it's... Now we're headed to go see the penguins. They have a really cool penguin exhibit here. Hey, Brian. Look at all the penguins. I don't know. This is so cool. I thought that one was walking. Yeah. Do you think it's going to dive into the village tree? There's some over there in the water. See, they're coming this way. Yeah, they want to see us. They want to say hi. <laughs> hi. Yeah, hi. They can also, you can also look down here. Yeah. This one might jump. Oh, he's looking for rocks, I think. Maybe he Looks like there is food up there. It looks like that thing one's eating. This one might jump too. There he goes. Ooh, that was cool. That was pretty cool. We can go over there and look at those other ones. All right. Where do you get? Oh, it comes out over there. Very cool. Yeah, and then climb up the steps. Look. You want to climb up the steps over there? Said just two fingers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gentle, gentle. I'm glad to be inside today. Yes. Wow, Lexi, these are starfish. Gently, two fingers. Oh my goodness. Nice water. We did them very Wow. Enjoy. Lexi's hanging out with her souvenir. We've done everything there is to do at Shed's, and so we are gonna head out and get some lunch at probably, we found an Applebee's. Lexi's had her heart set on cheese sticks. And then when we're done with that, we're gonna go back to the hotel and hang out for a bit because the Adler Planetarium doesn't open tonight until 4 p.m., so we've got some time to kill. And then on the way to the planetarium, when we park, we're gonna try to go take Lexi to see Lake Michigan before we go inside the planetarium. And then we'll probably eat lunch inside the planetarium, or dinner inside the planetarium tonight. So we'll catch back up with you when we get to Applebee's. So we finished up with lunch here at Applebee's in Munster, Indiana. It's just about a half hour outside of the city. Now we're gonna go back to the hotel room and relax for a bit before it's time to go see the lake and the planetarium. Well, 
we came back and we relaxed at the hotel for about an hour. And now we're getting ready to head back to Soldier Field to park because we are going to go to the Adler Planetarium. But on the way, we're gonna take a quick little detour and look at the lake over here. It is Lake Michigan. So we'll see you in a bit. We're coming down to see the lake, and there is all the boats in the harbor. Well, I don't know if you can hear me, it's pretty windy, but here is the Chicago Lake. Well, I should say the lake off of Chicago, Lake Michigan. Very pretty. Lots of boats out in the water. People doing fun activities. So cool. So cool. Got well, lots of boats, tour boats out on the lake from a different vantage point. Way off in the distance over there, you can see the Ferris wheel off Navy Pier. Beautiful Chicago skyline. What do you think, Lexi? Is this cool? Is this cool, Lexi? You love it? We made it to the planetarium. That is so cool. So this wow. shows how the world goes through here. That is so neat. Look at this. Ooh, Lexi, it's a telescope. What do you what see? Do you see? Yeah, I'll get a picture of that. Yeah, do, you do get a picture of that. That's a great side profile picture. Galaxy yeah, gets started, so grab one of those. Drag it to here. Smooth feature, smooth feature is not a galaxy. What do you think? Is it a gradually fades from the center? Irregularity is not smooth or star or artifact? I think it's this one. Submit classification. Here are the results. So far, five out of 10 people think it's smooth. You want to choose another one? Sure. All right. How about, how about this one? All right, what do you think about that one? Oh, too many of those? Okay, cool. We hit submit classification. All right. Two. Planet formation. This is how planets form. Yep. What is this big thing? Tell everybody what this is, Brian, for the camera. This is the atmosphere. What does it do? It's a, it's a big telescope. Oh, this is a big telescope? Yeah. Like back in the day, you mean? Yeah. So this is actually the original thing. Spirit was given to the Adler Planetarium for renovation display. They were sort of working for it since we opened here in 1991. Connecting the dots. Here you go, here you go. Connect the dots. Any dots you want to. Then go to the next one. Alright, look at it. And then there you go. And then this one. Then go to this one. Then go to this one. Okay. Now go to this one. 
<laughs> all right, now we're going to connect them all. And we, there we go. Now, title. What do you want to create? What do you want to type? That's really cool. What is this? Marmalary Spear. You can use this spear to understand how the sun and stars move in the sky. Oh, uh, maybe you're not supposed to move that. So look, so look at the shadow. So what time is that? So look at the sh where the shadow at. It's twelve. All right, and as we go this way, one. Yeah, this way too. So that's how they used to tell time back in the day. So remember, the sun rises in the east, right? And then it sets in the west. So right here, it's seven a.m. And then as it goes through, it goes to noon. All the way through at five. That's it. That's cool. Well, we've been exploring the planetarium, haven't we? Now we're getting ready to watch our 3D experience about the solar system. Are you excited? Yeah. So we're gonna get in line to watch our movie. We're looking up at the sky. So, we just finished our first movie from the solar system, and it lasted for a whopping 40 minutes. It was really cool, though. We got to see a lot of the planets, the sun, and the moon. Gone on adventure. But then, that left us a little bit of time to get up here for the other movie on the upper level at 6 o'clock. It's about the moon. So, we're going to watch that movie, and then we're going to explore on this upper level, and the cafe to eat is up here, and then we'll probably hit the gift shop. Yep. So, we finished our movie about the moon, and now we are having a little lunch, or a little dinner. It's dinner time. So, we're going to eat some dinner, and then we're going to ex finish exploring the upper level of the other planetarium, and then we're going to call it a night. Lexi and I came outside while we are waiting on our dinner to the top of the... Oh, no, don't stand on that. And this is so cool. I know, right? The sunset and everything. We finished dinner and now we're back to explore the top level. This is a giant earth. I think we'd get her picture in front of this, Brian. There's a giant moon. We're going to try to get Lexi's picture in front of. They have everything up above hanging from the ceiling. The entire solar system. Is this the Mars Land Rover? Yeah. The NASA built that Mark Rover guy helped? Another look at the Mars rover, huh? Wow. Oh. Look at all the neat stuff in here. Elizabeth. There you are. 
Alright, come back. Go over here. Huh? Let's go up there. Here. Over here. Oh, no. Back this way then. I see. Let's, oh, here's where we haven't gone. Oh, wow. Look here. You want to play? This is Mission Control. Are you ready to drive this rocket to Planet X? We will launch as soon as you get the ship ready. First, push the blue button to shut the hatch. Good job, pilot. Hatch is shut and the rocket is sealed up for its trip. Push the yellow button to start the airflow. Nice work, pilot. Air is flowing in the rocket. Now, we need to make sure we can find our way. Push the white button to load the map to the space station. Thank you, pilot. The map is loaded, and the rocket is ready to go. The computer will use this map to give you a target for steering. After launch, it will be up to you to hit this target and get the ship on the right path. Are you ready, pilot? Push the red button to start countdown and launch. Get ready to steer, that's your joystick. Lexi really wanted binoculars, so we're gonna get those. And then we got this planet making kit, and we got this book, look inside space book with lift the flap. And then Brian got whatever this is. Oh, magnetic hourglass, that's cool. So we are gonna get all this stuff and head out. We left planetarium and we're walking back to Soldier Field. And they have this little kids play park. So, told Lexi we could come out here. She wanted to play if we had time. So, we're playing in this little play area. She has something similar like this at school and she loved to do it, so. Why am I not surprised? This caught her attention every time we walked by it the last couple days. I want to play on that thing. I'm like, all right, when we have time, we'll go. And tonight we did. This is a little cooler in the evening. There's a breeze. It's still pretty warm, but I think the breeze does help a little bit. You having fun, Lexi? Well, all in all, today's been a fun day, hasn't it, Lex? Yes. Did you have fun at the aquarium? Yes. Did you have fun at the planetarium? Yes. That was cool, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And then she had fun playing on this little jungle gym thing over here. So I think we're gonna close it out for tonight from here and we will see you tomorrow when we head to the Cubs game at Wrigley. Yeah. 
Bye for now. Yep. Bye bye. Well, it is our last full day in Chicago. Yeah. We ate a leisurely breakfast here at the hotel and just kind of hung out. Um, if the pool hadn't been closed for renovations, we would have been at the pool. That's what we had planned to do today on our free time. So that's all right. We found other stuff to do. But we are getting ready to head to the Cubbies game. Lexi is so excited to go to her first game at Wrigley. She's got that sign we made down in the van. And let me show you Lexi's full outfit. She's so excited. We're each wearing one of Daddy's old hats. And then we each have a Cubs jersey. But Lexi, why don't we show everybody what you're wearing? So there she is. Turn around. Give us a little turn. She's wearing her tennis shoe. She's got a Cubs jersey and jean shorts. And we slathered her up in sunscreen because none of us want to get burnt. We're in a shady area, but it's a, doing the easy out parking, so we'll have to walk a little bit. So if you know anything about Wrigley, you know that it's considered a historical landmark and it's been there so long, right in the heart of the north side of the city that there is actually not any like designated parking garage at Wrigley Field like there is like say at Bush Stadium for the Cardinals where we're from. So basically they have all these little roadside easy and easy out parking. Anybody on the street that leads up to Wrigley that has a parking garage or a parking lot, people man those over and charge you parking. And the closer you get to the stadium, the more expensive it is, but it's considered easy out parking because after the game, you just walk right back and you're able to get right out. So Brian and his family have been doing that for years since they have been coming to the games at Wrigley since Brian is a little boy. So I know he is very excited for Lexi to experience her first game at Wrigley. I am not much of a Cubs fan, but I told them I would wear Cubs to the game. We're playing the San Diego Padres. So the Cardinals aren't playing, so I don't have a dog in the fight. So why not root for the Cubs? So we'll see you at Wrigley. where she gets all the stuff for being her first game. We made it to the gift shop. Lexi didn't last very long in the game. It was just too hot for her, so we're gonna let her pick out a souvenir. You like that? Okay. Keep going. Yeah, something like that. It's light and thin. This, this, this. She's tiny. What did you get, Lexi, at the... I got this monkey that can hang on. You got this monkey, okay. And you got a bow. I'm not gonna do a shirt. And then we got a couple of different shirts. Yeah. All right, you want to put them back in the bag? No. Well, Lexi, did you have fun at the game? Yes. Yes, you did. Very good. So this is all we had planned for today. Since the pool's not open, it's closed for renovation, we can't do that. But Lexi had a great time. She lasted about an hour. I think the heat got her ever since chemo. She hasn't been able to handle heat well. So we stopped by the gift shop and got a few things. Ugh, the lighting's bad. And there we go. And then we're going to head back to the hotel and get her back into the cool keep her hydrated and just make sure that she can take a rest or a nap if she needs to 
and then tomorrow we'll be headed on the way home. So we're gonna sign off for now, and then we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Well, our time in Chicago has come to an end, hasn't it, Lexi? Yeah. Did you have fun? Yes. You did, huh? I'm glad. So we have packed up the van. It is the morning of our last day and we are headed home. We found a restaurant for breakfast that's right on our route home. So we are gonna stop there and eat breakfast on our way home like a little brunch if you will. So I guess we will keep tabs with you on our trip home and we'll see you when we get back to our house. We made it home and we are unpacking. So to close out today's video, Lexi wanted to show you all of her souvenirs. Well, technically this is everybody's souvenirs for the entire trip, but we want to show you all the souvenirs we got before we close out. Okay? Okay. Lexi? Yes. So... Wow, this is a lot of souvenirs. Why don't we start at the back, Lex? Those came from the Cubs game, right? Uh -huh. yeah. Daddy got a shirt. And you got a cute shirt. Do you want to hold up your cute shirt? Sure. That's adorable. And then we got the magnet for Papa, right? The Cubs yeah. mask. You want to hold up? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then this you got for having your first game at Wrigley Field. Very cool. And then what else did you get from the game? I also Take them got up. this monkey. Okay. And then what else? My this belt. You love bow, so that's perfect. All right, then we switch to the Field Museum. We got this picture, pretty cool. And what else did you get? I got... Did you get that dinosaur? Yes, I did. He has a heartbeat. He has a heartbeat. What else did we get? Oh, we had this picture from the Field Museum, too. Mm -hmm. And then this picture is also from the Field Museum, one of those photo booths. You can't really see the picture that's supposed to be behind us because all three of us took up the booth. Is that everything? Oh, did you get this from the Field Museum? No, I got that from the planetarium, that's space. Oh, well, there we go. That's the planetarium. So let's do souvenirs from the planetarium. We got this space book. We got this planet maker. This came from the Field Museum, right? This dinosaur thing? Yeah. The magnetic hourglass thing came from the planetarium. And what did you go? Oh, these two came from the Field Museum. Those were those Molarama things. Then where did that come from? This. Mm -hmm. It came from the... Aquarium? Uh, yeah, the aquarium. And what is that? It's a swaddle. A swaddle? And what, what did you name your whale? Whaley? You named your whale Whaley. And then where did that little thing come from? From the records. Yep, Daddy won that. We went to Denny's for breakfast and Daddy won that out of the claw machine because he's just really good at claw machines. Oh, and you got this from the planetarium too. She really wanted some binoculars. She likes to look at things out the window. So this came from the Field Museum as well. Going to keep one for me and Price and one to my mom as a souvenir. I thought that would be cool. So I think that's all the souvenirs, Lexi. Yeah. So what do you want to tell everyone? 
subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we upload another video. Bye.